Gunlock Falls became an overnight attraction as people showed up by the carloads to catch a glimpse of the rushing waters. Well, this is pretty neat. It's probably the heaviest that I've seen it, at, seen it out here. Rain and snow melt continued to add to the overflow of Gunlock Reservoir on Wednesday as waters finally spilled over the falls after reaching full capacity. It, it is the reservoir spillway when we reach above capacity. So you're seeing what is extra coming off the reservoir. And this isn't the end. This is just the beginning of what we're going to see, an extremely long runoff. While these falls are amazing to watch, the state park manager warns visitors to be extra careful. We really want people to understand that this is beautiful, it's good to look at, but keep your distance. Be, be extremely careful around the falls area. The water, is, the water is very swift and it does have debris and the water and the rocks are slick. And also remember that you're responsible for your safety when you're recreating in the area. We, we want you to take responsibility for yourself and your group. If you're with your family, keep an eye out on your kids. As the rushing waters rapidly disperse downstream, they quickly begin making new channels, bringing along debris. A few miles down the Santa Clara River, U.S. Geological Survey crews measured the water over a bridge to determine just how fast it was rising. We're sounding the depth of that big weight, yeah. and then our cups spin, and from the, how many times it spins in a given time, that's we can get a velocity. So then we take the, the area and the velocity and then get a discharge. So how much has this gone up, or how do you know? Do you, uh, do we you don't know until we measure. Our gauge right now is reading 1,500. CFS is a is a volumetric measurement of flow, a volume of flow per time. Um, they have a gauge at the bridge just below Shem Dam, and they have a measured area, a cross-sectional area at that gauge. So with that tool they've got, they can measure the speed of the water, and they know how deep it is and how big the area is, and they can verify the cubic feet per second measurement that the gauge is giving them. The gauge up there is a, a real-time gauge. It's a sonar type gauge on the downstream side of the bridge that measures how deep the flow is and knowing the area, they can determine the flow rate. Shem Dam, which is the historic irrigation diversion for all the canals that feed the Santa Clara Valley, was monitored early this morning with waters rising significantly by two o'clock in the afternoon. Now we saw it jump up to about 700 early this morning and it's been building. Right now it's at about 1800 CFS cubic feet per second that is in the river up to Shem. It's hit Santa Clara about 15 minutes ago and so we watched it go from a trickle to where it is right now and we'll anticipate that it'll double in the next three to four hours here and then probably continue to rise at a slower pace depending on the snow melt or the flows into the reservoir. The concern we have is that now Gunlock's full, Baker Reservoir is full, so any flow in the river, there, any flow in the tributaries is going to pass right through those reservoirs, come over the spillway and head Santa Clara. And because the water is heading downstream, city crews took the rails off the Clary Bridge in Santa Clara to allow for removal of debris if necessary. And debris piles get picked up and brought downstream. They cause us problems at our bridges. So we've got city crews on site that are monitoring the bridges, looking for debris, and we'll just hang tight and watch it from here on out. This flow rate isn't really going to impact any houses. We may have some issues at some of the bridges. We're watching those. The biggest danger is people trying to get close to it. Um, it's a siren song. When the river's running, people want to go see it. And what they end up doing is clogging the, the emergency vehicle accesses to get through. Um, plugging up the roads um, and then worst case is they get too close to the river and maybe a bank gives way and we have loss of life. I mean we had loss of life last time it spilled and it's something that is tragic and we just don't want to see happen. Rosenberg said that floods like this are actually good for the rivers and streams to keep them cleared of debris. This flood will be, is a good flood for the Santa Clara to keep the river healthy. It will scour that central channel out and do what we call channel forming. Um, which actually is good for the health of the river long term. And while these rushing waters are impressive, Mayor Rosenberg says this is nothing compared to what happened in the past. In 2005, the bridge wasn't there. 
and so it washed out and damaged the orchard at Jacob Hamlin home, took out Old 91. It did a tremendous damage in 2005. 2010, we had a lot of improvements to the river. The channel had been scoured significantly, and we didn't have any damage in 2010, or at least minor damage compared to what we saw in 2005. With more spring rains and melting on the way, watch for possible road closures or water on the roadways. Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.